all right ladies and gentlemen we are back for another day of eating review today it's going to be matthew bowling and if you don't know who this guy is or if you don't remember him he broke some high school track record a few years ago and he went super viral i think we actually did a video on him at that point in time it's got to be at least a few years old now uh so we're gonna see what he's currently eating training for the olympics i actually have my uh i have my retainers in because <laughs> I was about to go to bed, and I then I forgot I had to film this. So we are here reluctantly past my bedtime. Hey, y'all. Come follow along with me for the week as I show my diet and how I'm preparing for the 2024 season. Let's go. y'all since we don't got a train today we're gonna keep it real simple and do a chicken avocado bacon sandwich and then some fruit and yogurt on the side all right made four eggs salmon toast avocado and fruit and yogurt one time i was in new so it's salmon on bread with eggs avocado yogurt and berries and i'll touch on the organic versus non-organic stuff and the food quality at the beginning here if you're not purchasing organic produce, there's agrochemicals, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides that you're going to be eating that you don't want to put in your body. That's mainly for like plant foods, especially like bread and avocado and stuff and berries. For the animal food side, you want to go the highest quality. So you want to go corn and soy-free pasture-raised eggs. You want to go wild-caught fish. You want to go raw grass-fed dairy. If you don't, there's slight uh, herbicide, pesticide concerns, but the bigger concerns are omega fatty acid ratios you know especially like eggs and farmed fish can be very high in omega-6 as well as the uh, estrogenic effects um, of some of the things they put in the meat uh, and in the case of salmon there are pollution concerns but in the case of like eggs and beef pork and chicken it's more about the omega fatty acid ratios and and other things you know there's not necessarily as many direct pollutants in the meat as you're going to get with with the plant-based foods but overall uh, even though this meal is low quality it's mostly protein which is better than what most people are eating and i'm guessing he he restricts his carbohydrates because he's trying to maintain a certain body weight uh, for performance, but if you actually go high quality and eat the correct foods, you shouldn't have to restrict anything to maintain, and you'll still be able to maintain your weight. Uh, so it's Sunday night, tomorrow, Monday, first day of the training week, gonna be probably the hardest volume day. Got 95 what? second run. Oh, it's a whole what I eat in a week. Oh, God, this is gonna be long. Runs, 65 second runs. So I'm gonna make sure to fuel right. I'm gonna eat pasta, ground turkey, and sweet potatoes. And we just, we just went from what to what? That was his brunch to dinner. I'm gonna mix in some spinach in there. I'm gonna cut the sweet potato into french fry looking slices. Now I'm putting this in the air fryer. Water to a boil. Put a little bit of olive oil, garlic powder. Sweet potatoes looking good. Turkey's cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and season it up a little bit and then put the marinara sauce on. I mean, this is kind of like bro science. A little bit maybe like what a, a conventional normie would think is healthy well, what can we call this what is it the the food pyramid diet you know you got your seven your grains your low quality lean turkey avoiding fat getting your veggies in your sweet potato i mean conventional pasta is just probably full of chemicals it's not the dirtiest not the cleanest carb source uh probably out of all the things he's eating here if anything that plain pasta is the healthiest thing uh, turkey, very, very low quality meat, you know, the corn and soy and all the crap they're feeding to those birds. Tomato sauce, you know, I mean, extra beta carotene flavonoids, not that great for the liver, better to reduce it. Same with sweet potatoes, high in flavonoids, high in carotene, not, not that easily digestible of a food. I think sweet potatoes might be the most overrated health food in general, possibly, because of how many people eat them and like them. And then spinach. Uh, any vegetable, especially dark green, is going to bitter stuff, very high in anti-nutrients, oxalates, uh, these goitrogenic compounds that inhibit thyroid function. So th there's no, like, like objectively, the green vegetables 
will never ever have a purpose in the diet. At least you can make arguments like, oh well, the sweet potato has some carbs and starch and caloric energy. You know, the turkey has some protein. Everything else in this meal, even though it's not ideal or good, serves some purpose. In the case of these green vegetables, absolutely zero purpose whatsoever. Perfect. He's about to carry me through that workout tomorrow. But I mean, you know, he has good genetics and all athletes take performance enhancing drugs. So um, the, the diet, it might not be as relevant as you think. We got lunch for tomorrow. All right, so breakfast today, it's Monday. We're gonna do four eggs, turkey, bacon, toast, and a little bit of fruit. Just trying to get some protein in before the workout. Breakfast complete. About to eat it and then head over to practice. We got lunch. Yeah, I mean, he said it was just eggs, turkey, bacon, toast, so, you know, some omega-6. Not the best, not the worst. That's the leftovers he had again. Lunch. Post practice, and we're gonna make a little smoothie too. Gonna add some almond milk and some yogurt. Man, get out of there. Some chia seeds. I mean, that's just really low quality crap. Like, th this might be the worst thing he's had so far, possibly. Mainly, mainly because the almond milk is really just synthetic vitamins and minerals and chemicals that are bad for you. If you just took almonds and blended them up with water and had a plain almond milk, it's not that bad. But because they add all those things to it, it's bad. Conventional dairy, I mean, I guess you could argue it's a protein source. But it's, just, you know, it's ultra pasteurized, homogenized, highly processed, usually low fat yogurt that doesn't have. The difference between the, these low fat yogurts and conventional yogurts in the supermarket versus an actual like raw yogurt like that we have on Frankie Strange Meat is night and day. It's the, like a bad food versus a good food. But berries can be very polluted, especially if, if they're not organic. And even if they are, they're, they're kind of high in oxalates and be, they're kind of inflammatory and they're not really calorically dense. So if you enjoy them, it's okay to have them. But from a health perspective, not every day. What the dog doing? That's good. All right, y'all. So we're making chicken avocado wraps with bell peppers and tomatoes, and that's going to get us right for practice tomorrow. So let's get into it. All right. So I'm going to slice these chickens in, in half. So we're going to use olive oil and our seasonings here. Seasoned up. Let's put it in the air fryer. One cup of brown rice with two and a fourth cup of water. I'm going to cook these with some olive oil and seasoning. Wash the veggies. We're going to cut them up. Veggie wash. Chicken shaped it's, up. Dude, how much of a scam is that people are using veggie wash on like non-organic vegetables that just have pesticides all ingrained throughout them? It's kind of funny. Pretty good. We got the bread in at 400 for a couple minutes. So here's everything we got. Now we'll put one of these same. Okay, so at least he's having a lot of starch and carbs and he's not afraid of that. But j just the quality of each of these foods, you know, I'll try to be somewhat brief. The brown rice very high in arsenic are you using like filtered water to cook it just not good most bread is made with fortified flour which has those like really bad synthetic vitamins and like iron that that's really damaging to your body just uh pretty much every every bread product unless you're going to make it yourself chicken super low quality if it's lean chicken breast at least it's not super high in omega-6 but it's still very inflammatory you know from the animals being jabbed to the, all the crap in that corn and soy feed that does get in the muscle meat too the peas again overarching thing we said with the green vegetables and then uh, avocados are another probably i guess moderately high inflammatory food high in salicylates at least avocados have some caloric density to them so you're not just bombarding your body with anti-nutrients for no reason but if this meal was just like the rice the chicken and the bread without those two bowls of vegetables and stuff it actually it wouldn't be as bad i wouldn't at least you're just giving your body starch and carbs and protein which is together looking good which is the fuel he needs for Got a lot exercise left, so obviously Got weights after practice tomorrow, so it'll be a good post-practice protein. Boom, so we're gonna have lunch for the next couple of days. Put you right here. It's Tuesday, got another tough workout today, so gotta to fuel up. Got four eggs, two pieces of toast, and two pieces of turkey bacon. Yeah, so the main downside of this diet so far is, 
is, is just the low quality protein sources, which means like long term, um, you're going to start accumulating some liver damage and, and your cellular health isn't going to be as good. With some spinach. For snacks, I'm going to pack this peanut butter and honey in between practice and weights. Just more omega-6 low quality stuff. But th this type of, you know, this, this type of diet, you know, you can go years and years and years. This is what most people eat most I of their lives. I just finished practice, and this is the worst sandwich I've ever had. But I'm going to eat it. Post-workout, finally back from practice, and it's time to eat. I had a disappointing day on the bench press. I haven't done it in like five years, so I got laughed at. But we're going to get the protein up, and we're going to be back on the bench press soon. All right, y'all. So we got tomorrow off for recovery. Going to do some pool work and stuff like that. But tonight, I'm going to be making salmon bites in the air fryer and broccoli and rice. All right, so I'm going to start with cutting the salmon into bites. I'm gonna add some olive oil and some garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and some of this wood fire garlic seasoning. A drizzle of honey in here. I, I really don't know why. It probably won't even do that much. It just makes me feel like a chef or something. Broccoli, of course, is easy. I'm gonna put it in the God, that knots the pan with all those scratch with, marks on it. With nature's seasoning and pepper. This is real good on vegetables. Yeah, no, it looks good. I mean, the skin threw me off for a second, but I'm just going to yeah, that off. Probably probably. Cooked about Here's the final three product. Times longer than he needed to. I mean, I'm surprised, and he, I mean, he probably does have appetite issues with all this omega-6 protein and low fat. I'm assuming this kid is ravenously hungry all day. And and that's the main, the main thing I notice if I include any high omega-6 protein sources in my diet. Um, which I believe is the linolenic, linolenic acid, as well as oh, arachidonic. No, I'm, guys, I have a bad memory, but I, I've done so many videos on this stuff. If you guys like Google, uh, YouTube, Frank Tofano Omega Six, you'll get like the the whole explanation on arachidonic acid and the difference of the the types of omega six found in animal foods versus plant foods, and and basically explaining that. It, it drastically increases your appetite. So if you eat six ounces of farm salmon versus six ounces of wild caught salmon, you know, with the farm salmon, you might be ravenously hungry the whole day, whereas the wild caught salmon will satiate your appetite. It's because the body wants a balanced omega-6 intake. The body wants to have balanced omega fatty acid ratios in the cells, and it, want, it always wants to correct that. I'd be putting this on everything too. I just like hot sauce. That's one of my weird things. Yeah, so my version of this meal would be wild caught salmon, you know, organic white rice made with mineral water because brown rice is high in arsenic and cauliflower instead of broccoli, which is much lower in anti nutrients. Use light real quick. All right, this is one of my favorite meals I made this whole week, and it only took me 10 minutes. And by the way, the honey did do something. It gave it a little aftertaste. Glad I tried that out. And since it only took me 10 minutes, I was feeling myself, so I made a little mixed berry smoothie with some Greek yogurt. It's gonna be a good recovery day tomorrow. Since it's recovery day, and I'm just gonna be hopping in the pool later to do some drills, I had a little bit more time to A, sleep in, and B, prepare breakfast. So I got some eggs and chicken and some peas on the side to get me get me right before my pool work. Yeah, a lo lot of low quality protein, and I think he can eat more carbs and fats. Go. I wouldn't do it for the workout, but I'll do it for the vlog. Just finished the swim. Pool was way too cold, but we did it. Now we got lunch, salmon bites and broccoli. So let's eat up. All right, y'all, so it's Wednesday night and tomorrow we probably got the hardest workout I've had in the last month. But tonight I'm gonna prepare. Yeah, I, I really don't understand why, you know, these athletes that are working out so much are restricting their diets in any way whatsoever. I, I can't imagine restricting your carbohydrates is gonna improve your performance. It's not like you have to make weight or there's weight limits or categories or stuff. Some pasta, shrimp, and broccoli to get me ready for tomorrow. I'm just going to put these in with some olive oil and some seasoning. I haven't tried it in there. It's kind of like the bro science conventional wisdom, you know. We talked about the food pyramid stuff earlier, but, you know, when someone's eating a lot of chicken, rice, and broccoli, it's kind of like, you know. I fry it, but we're going to see. We got the shrimp going. This stuff is fire. Put some spice on it and some garlic powder. Let's see. 
No, it looks pretty good, actually. Looks smoky. Man, I'm gonna lie, this hitting. You know, it's hard to say how polluted those shrimp are. Um, I mean, it. Yeah, I mean, they're literally bottom feeders, so you get kind of scared with with shellfish, especially because the those can be the most polluted protein sources out of everything way better than when i put it on the on the little hot plate yesterday it was better to me i added some of this pesto too to give it a good feel with the pasta see if the pasta's ready this is the classic test it sticks it's ready money i mean you go to a another thing that people don't mention a lot is you know most frozen seafood especially shrimp uh, i think the chemical is called sodium theosulfate and it's they put so much of it in there you can actually taste it on the shrimp it's it's gross i i wouldn't eat shrimp solely for that reason if anything to a restaurant and they're gonna charge you like 25 30 bucks for something like this i look you got hungry again so i made some fruit and yogurt that'll be dessert looking good the rice and beans did not take that long to make and the shrimp was from last night i mean i'm, I'm trying to remember the, the past few people we've reviewed you know at least he's eating a decent amount of food. He's getting some protein in. Uh, I, I like that the meals where he does have carbohydrates, he has a lot of them. You know, a lot of people restrict them, but. So it's a quick little lunch after a four hour workout. I'm gonna go ahead and make a smoothie too because I'm hungry and I need some more fruit. Th th this type of smoothie, like w when you're doing berries, banana. There's nothing super calorically dense in here. You know, you're not adding whole milk, um, you know, especially low fat yogurt and is very really high protein. It's not calorically dense. It's just not. You know, unless you're gonna add actual like sugar or glucose or something concentrated in here, it's just it can't be more than like 200, 250 calories total. We got mixed berries and bananas and chia seeds and some Greek yogurt. We had a yeah, that, that sounds like someone that's trying to, you know, like kind of be healthy as opposed to fuel their body for performance. Hard day today. I mean, we had like three 30 second runs, three 35 second runs, three 40 second runs with not a lot of rest. Um, and then we had weights. So need to refuel after that. Weight room went good. All my homies hate incline bench press. I'm gonna feel myself getting better every day, getting stronger. All right, y'all. So after a tough day today, we're gonna go with the high protein ground turkey, quinoa, and sweet potato bowl to get us ready for the workout tomorrow. I'm gonna put a cup of quinoa in the rice Oh, something cooker. organic. What a surprise. Sweet potatoes. I'm gonna do it into circles this time just to change things up. Here's some olive oil. Now I'm gonna put some seasoning in there and then pop it in the air fryer. Starting the ground turkey now. Obviously, we're gonna season it later, but just put it on with some olive yeah, oil. Yeah, putting, putting seasonings on everything. I mean, you, know, you could go down a laundry list of problems with each of them, but... If it's a high quality food and you just put a little bit of salt on it, that's going to be the least inflammatory thing to do overall. They look pretty good. Oh, they're hot. But I'm going to put it in for a couple more minutes. Alright, so this is the seasoning I'm going to go ahead and use on the turkey. It's done cooking now. I got it on simmer. I'm going to put some avocados on it too, but these are perfect. So I had to show them real quick. I had to flex these. They probably cooked all the way through now. It's probably a little bit better. I wonder what the uh I wonder what the indigenous people thought of avocado from like uh from like a food perspective. I'm really curious about that. I mean I probably wasn't a staple. I'm guessing they they used it in certain applications and probably prepared it in certain ways or who knows, maybe they didn't. I mean, I don't I don't even know where avocados are indigenous to, but that that would be interesting to know. Secret sauce. All right, y'all. So, this is looking good. Good all-around dinner, good protein. Super excited for the workout tomorrow. All of his meals, you know, it's not easily digestible. You know, you have an avocado. We talked about it's high in anti-nutrients. You have sweet potato, high in anti-nutrients. You have this low-quality crappy turkey, and you season it so much. It's. We got 45-second runs today, so I'm going to go with four eggs, salmon, avocado, and we're going to do some sourdough toast. Bombing the omega-6, bro. Too hot. Bombing the omega-6. Omega-6 bomb. Conventional really eggs and salmon. Me like 10 minutes max to make. And there we go. That's good fuel for the workout today. Wish me luck. Making a peanut butter and honey sandwich for post-practice. Hey, he, he buys like some stuff. Like, at least the peanut butter is organic. I mean, 
I, I I love peanut butter, although I never eat it because I mean it's it's full of toxins. It's omega six based. It's 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 really not that healthy for you, um, especially and and the ma there's a lot of things in there. Uh, I don't know if I've done a video on peanuts, but like I think it uh, it's not called pectin. It's it's something else. But th there's sp anti nutrients specific to to peanuts that um, are, are really really bad for your gut can be like leaky gut, um, cause immune system problems. So in, in a not so healthy person, anyone with slight gut issues, peanut butter can be very, very bad. Butter, cause it's only got peanuts and sea salt. Get that protein in. And, and, and you'll know it. Like if you, if you eat peanut butter and then swap to like, like we, we make a lot of products with hazelnut and walnut on Frankie's Syrian foods. I've never had any problem with any of those. So if you just swap to macadamia nut butter or whatever, you'll notice an immediate difference in, in how your body reacts compared to peanut butter. All right, y'all, so we finished with practice, about to eat my lunch. So we got hills tomorrow. We're gonna do lemon pepper chicken, broccoli, and quinoa. All I gotta do is flip this to cook. Wait about thirty so minutes, and I'll be ready. White quinoa is a good pro, uh, white quinoa is a good carbohydrate source, but like the rest of these foods, not great. Got to season with some olive oil, onion powder, lemon pepper, and garlic powder. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. He, he Broccoli needs some looking beef. good. Quinoa first. Get some chicken. Dinner is served. Gonna kill them hills tomorrow. All right, y'all, so it's Saturday morning. We got hills today. Hard workout, but also marks the end of a great training week. So we're gonna get some eggs and toast and bacon in. I mean, conventional white bread. We spoke about the fortified flour issues earlier. That's the main concern. Turkey bacon is just, again, like the, the problems with turkey translate directly to the bacon and then there's probably some nitrates or some chemicals in there and then we've mentioned the problems with the eggs a few times but could be better could be worse i guess that's a wrap on training for the week hills took me out but we got better today for sure so now we're gonna eat lunch uh, we got chicken from last night mm, bus. All right, we're gonna make homemade pizza with prosciutto, banana peppers, marinara. Bro, did he just say prosciutto? God help me. It's the most, re hold on, you can't see it because my, my body's blocking, but the most replayed part is right here. I'm, I wonder if it's because a girl popped up or because it's how he pronounced prosciutto. All right, we're gonna make homemade pizza with prosciutto, banana peppers, we're screwed out. Oh my God, help me, please. Peppers. We have we have the highest quality San Daniel Proscuto on Frankie's Range Meat. If you guys want to try it, marinara sauce and cheese. I'm putting some butter on the bottom. Let me put the sauce on now, like a true chef. We also have a special guest today. You know, pizza date night. All right, next we're gonna do the cheese. I mean, I mean, if I. Oh, I'll be nice. <laughs> now that we did that, good source of protein and it tastes good. I'm gonna load mine up with some banana peppers. All right, next I'm gonna put some cubed up chicken for extra protein and boom, got some healthy pizza. Well, I mean, it's just, it's just low quality stuff. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't expect him to know to put the prosciutto on after you cook the pizza. I would never cook prosciutto on the pizza. Uh, yeah, we, we've touched on pretty much everything. The downsides of, of bread, the the fortification of the flour, you know, not going organic on the flour, it's probably full of agrochemicals. Marinara sauce, we said, you know, tomatoes, beta carotene and stuff, not that great. Low quality dairy with the mozzarella, we know the issues with that. Prosciutto, if it's like San Daniel high quality, it's good stuff. I'm guessing he might have just bought some cheap prosciutto that might not even be Italian, which is might be made from lower quality pork, which is not that great for you. But uh, at least this meal in comparison to everything else he's had uh, isn't as high in omega-6. That's the benefit, you know. The, por the pork is lean, 
the dairy is lean, so at least it's no, no, no more uh, egg, salmon, chicken nonsense. <laughs> All right. Five minutes later, be ready. Five minutes? Woo! It looks good. Let's see how Five it minutes for pizza? Good pizza. Mm -hmm. Almond milk, fruit, yogurt. Oh my god. Yum. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is still like. The, it, it's interesting, even like the top athletes are eating like really conventional, like bro science, standard American diet food pyramid stuff. Delicious smoothie bowl dessert. Yeah, I mean, overall, definitely need to, uh, definitely need to go higher quality. M main thing out of out of everything, just you know, chill out with the omega six protein sources. I think that's the real concern. You know, switch to some beef, get some higher quality eggs, get some full fat dairy. Yeah, and then he can also definitely remove a lot of the vegetables and unnecessary things. You know, w with a, a few slight minor tweaks. You know, I mean. Uh, I don't want this video to be 45 minutes long, but you know, you go going wild caught on the salmon. You start getting pasture raised eggs. If you go organic with all the produce, you know, instead of making your smoothies with almond milk, you can swap to coconut milk. Something better, even better is a uh, organic grass fed milk, raw milk, that type of stuff. Every single meal he's making can be substituted. So by increasing the quality of everything, by going organic, and by removing like the unnecessary things, like a lot of the vegetables, the peas, you know, removing the sweet potatoes for maybe just plain white potatoes. The meals can look very similar, but be 100% better and way healthier for you long term, even to the point where it's a diet I would follow myself. But whatever. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. If you go to frank com. Uh, you can support me through all of my interesting and creative businesses. We got Frankie's Strange Meat. Uh, a few restocks this week. We got the, the fresh blood in again. Restock some strawberry ice cream. Pretty much everything is available. Uh, on the foods website, we do have a few new things. Uh, we have some puffed grains like popcorn, rice, wheat, as well as quinoa. Uh, what's pretty big, I guess, some of you guys might like is uh, we have Rice Krispie Treats now organic rice crispy treats so you go to frankiestrangefoods.com you'll see a few new things there on the front page too and then you can check out uh, my other businesses organ supplements wi-fi shielding frankies and naturals for uh, the highest quality and most affordable stuff that will get you feeling your best or you could just ask your olympic coach for some testosterone and inject it in your tushy and you won't have to be so crazy about everything right take the easy way out <laughs>